After another dreadful ending to a great season by the Dallas Cowboys, the team knew they had to do something and that's exactly why this offseason they made a few moves that I really think will help them big time in the 2023 season. Before I begin this video, I would really appreciate it if you would drop a like and subscribe, it only takes 5 seconds, plus you can always change your mind. We just recently hit 10k subscribers and I truly can't thank you guys enough and I guess that now means that we are on the road to 20k subs. Alright, so anyways, in 2022, the Cowboys receiving room really showed that they weren't near as good as previous years, which made sense because they traded Amari Cooper to the Browns. But they still definitely had a very talented group of guys led by players like CD Lamb and Michael Gallup. The issue was that outside of the top guys, there wasn't much depth and the team lacked playmaking. This offseason, Jerry Jones tried to improve in those areas, and as you all know, the Cowboys recently traded for Brandon Cooks, and I just think this is a very underrated pickup. I think everyone knows that Cooks is a good player, but last season with non-existent QB play, he only put up 700 yards with 3 touchdowns, and I think that's why everyone stopped paying attention to him. Now that he's back on a real NFL offense, I think he will easily return to form and put up over 1000 yards per season. It's kinda weird to say, but Cooks is now a veteran in this league, and I think he's truly the perfect number 2 to play behind and mentor CD Lamb. I also feel like last season, Gallup was being used incorrectly because in my eyes, he's more of a short route and slant guy and they were using him as the deep threat. It can go both ways though, he did make a few nice plays last season with the deep ball, but let me know in the comments below how you think he should be used. Alright, now I want to talk a little bit about the RB room because I really think Tony Pollard is going to take off into being one of the best backs in the league. With Ezekiel Elliott out of the picture, Pollard now has the backfield to himself and even though the offensive line has some moving parts right now, I've just always felt like Pollard wasn't getting enough touches and was being held back and now that he's the RB1, like I said, he's gonna have a breakout season and I know this isn't what this video is about, but in terms of fantasy football, he's gonna give elite production. Now flipping over to the defensive side of things, many fans across the nation believe that Dallas has a top 5 and even top 3 defense in the whole league. Ever since the arrival of Dan Quinn, this defense has thrived and they've gotten better every single year. The main thing to me that makes this defense so successful is that Quinn trusts all his players and nobody is above another. They all work together as one unit, there is no egos, and last season in the wildcard game, they held the Bucks to just 14 points. Just insane. That's really all I have to say for this video. I know I didn't talk at all about Dak Prescott, but that's just because there's not really anything new going on with him. Dak is just a solid QB in this league, and with the receiving room he now has, I expect him to produce. For this Cowboys team, it really just all comes down to if they can get the right matchups come playoff time and they need to execute late in games. Thank you all so much if you made it to the end of the video and if you haven't yet, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I can't wait to see how this season plays out for the Cowboys and let me know how many wins you think this team is gonna get. I know this was a very quick video and I didn't cover everything, but I just wanted to make sure that I talked a little bit about this team because even though they've choked a lot in the playoffs recently, you gotta think pretty soon it's gonna be their year. But yeah, thank you all so much again for watching, stay tuned for more content in the future, and until next time, I will see you all later.